We will now re-import the geometry with conformal tessellation. We use the PMDB for speed and we attach the size field we wrote out in part 1 of this tutorial. This takes several minutes usually but we speed it up here for convenience. Conformal tessellation is using a patch conforming advancing front meshing algorithm during the geometry import. The CAD is matched exactly. Once the zone is selected using Ctrl Z and right mouse button, the Ctrl Shift H hotkey hides the selected zones, or the Ctrl Shift I hotkey will isolate the selected zones, i.e., hide all other zones. Conformal tessellation gives a very high fidelity surface mesh as it meshes the CAD directly on import. We delete the unwanted refinement boundary zone using the boundary manage panel. Control shift e hotkey switches edge visibility on and off in the graphics window very quickly. We can use the diagnostic summary to find any issues very quickly regarding connectivity and mesh quality. The Diagnostics panel can be used to find skewed faces and for example auto collapse them globally or march through and do local fixes manually on a one by one basis. Note here that conformal tessellation is a patch conforming method and as such it can give slither faces or very skewed faces if patches are thin or contain sharp angles. The wrapper method would automatically defeature these. We can march through a marked list of cells above a certain skewness value in the diagnostics panel. We can also leave them as we go through with an eye to fixing later with a global aggressive command. But if a problem element is in a critical place we may wish to manually fix with full control. Fluent meshing has lots of options here for manual movement of nodes.
Global improve operations protect features using the feature angle and also protect edges between boundary zones with the preserve boundary toggle. We can relax these constraints to fix problem faces using general improve. If we increase the feature angle to 180 degrees, the features are not respected during general improve, and the result is a smoothing of the geometry to attain good face skewness. Similarly, if required, nodes between patch boundaries can be smoothed by switching off preserved boundary. Our final surface mesh skewness is less than 0.7 and likely to lead to a very high quality volume mesh as we proceed.